What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to show you guys how you can play Game Boy Advance or even Game Boy Color or even Super Nintendo or regular Nintendo um, on iOS 14 or even iOS 15. This is actually on iOS 15 beta 2 right now and it works perfectly fine for me. Now what's cool about this is it's not actually an application, meaning you don't have to go to uh, you know a third party place to you know hopefully find it uh you know having a certificate there's no you know revoking there's no using um you know alt store or any of that crap it's just it's just a website and it lets you play some games and it's pretty cool how it works so all you got to do is come to eclipse here this is the website eclipse emu.me i'll leave the link for this in the description and uh it's pretty easy to set up so I'm just going to go ahead and do setup eclipse and then it lets you decide what type of aspect ratio you want. I just leave it on default and then you can choose the controller skin you want to use. Uh, I think the blue one looks cool so we'll use that one. I'll just click on set. I wonder why I'll just have the blue one. I don't know why it let me enable both uh, but we'll just uh, use the blue one and I'll click continue. And then you do have some information here about copyright and licensing and legal and all that. So agree and continue and then setup complete, close setup. And now what you want to do at this point is to add this to your home screen. Now this is going to look different on iOS 15 than iOS 14. Uh, but basically you just need to find the option to add to home screen. That's all you got to do. And you can go ahead and click on add and you can add it to the home screen. Now I've already done this. I already have it on my home screen as you guys can see right there. So once you've added it to your home screen, the next thing you're gonna need are games. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you guys how to download games. Uh, YouTube does not like that. And I also wanna mention that um, in order for it to not be considered piracy, just make sure you own a copy of these games. Uh, so I can't show you that, but I can show you guys how to install a game and get it up and running. So I do have a game on my phone. I'm going to show you guys how I have it set up in my files. So I'm just going to back up. I was exploring Minecraft files earlier. Uh, so in, I believe I put it in iCloud Drive. Did I put it in these ROMs? Yeah. So in iCloud Drive, I have a section here for ROMs. And then I do have the Pokemon Emerald available in that file. So if you want to keep them, you know, uh, nice and organized, just make folders for them. You can use it in iCloud Drive or you could just use it on my iPhone if you don't want to use iCloud Space. Uh, just make sure you have the ROM or, uh, you know, whatever game you're going to use somewhere on your device. Now we can go ahead and launch Eclipse. Now, as you can see, empty library. Uh, there's nothing here. And I, I don't know how to import stuff to stay there. I haven't been able to figure that out because every time I upload something, it never stays there. So I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, but I can save games and I don't lose the save state. There's also some settings to configure with Eclipse. You have your skins option here. As you can see, there's other stuff to choose from, which is, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, help, storage, list view. Um, I guess this is what I need to do is do Google Drive. I have that set up for Delta. Maybe I could link that, but there's just a bunch of settings. Just know that you guys can make, you know, edits to the settings and stuff like that. But to start playing a game, I'm just gonna click the plus button and then I'm gonna click upload. And apparently it didn't work that time. Sometimes it doesn't work. I am on iOS 15 beta, so that might be an issue. But uh, just click the plus button, click upload. Now I get the little pop-up. So I'm just going to choose the file. And I'm already in that file in my iCloud drive like I showed you guys. So I'm just going to click on Pokemon Emerald. And as you can see, it starts loading the game up right away. There is audio. I did notice that the audio can be a little weird if you have your iPhone muted. It might not, you know, come through. So unmute your iPhone and you should be able to hear the audio. So as you can see, if I go into silent mode, it mutes, it mutes Eclipse. You can also change the orientation. I've noticed that the, uh, the um, landscape orientation like this does work a little bit better than the portrait for the buttons at least. So take note on that. And I'm just going to go ahead and get through this and we'll continue. And I should have a save state here. As you can see, there's a internal battery has run dry. The game can be played, blah, blah, blah. 
And there we go. As you can see, I have a save state saved in the game. Now I'll show you guys how this works. It's really slick. So you play your games, you know, so on and so forth. Say you get to a certain point and you don't want to lose your place in the game. And now I got to go th through a little dialogue here. So let me just go ahead and fast forward through this part here for you. Okay, she's leaving me alone. So what you want to do is just click start. And then you want to save the game just like you would on a Game Boy, just by going to save. Would you like to save? And you guys can see where my position is on the game. There's already a save file. Is it okay to be overwritten? Yes. So it's pretty cool. You use the original built-in saving function just right in the game. That's all you got to do. So now what I can do is I can click menu and I can quit out of the game. I can click the plus button. I wonder if I'll have any issues. Nope. We can load it back up. Maybe not. Like I said, it acts a little wonky for me. Sometimes I just got to kill it from multitasking and then it'll cooperate with me. Upload, choose file, and then load it up. And then it should be right where I left off when I saved it just a moment ago. But like I said, what is cool about this is this is not an application. This is basically just a website. So there is no certificate. There is no getting revoked. It just will stay on your device forever. And I thought that that was really awesome. So again, we'll go ahead and get to this part and I'll show you guys that the save state did save and it's as simple as that. Get that to go a little quicker. There we go. Let's go ahead and load this up and my guy is right where I left it off. So pretty damn cool emulator called Eclipse. Link will be in the description. That's how it works. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.